We're starting at 900 sites, 125 million accounts, one vulnerability. By Mabra, Zixava, and Loggy KK. Zixava's in here. Oh, um, all right. Anyways, TLDR Firebase allows for easy misconfiguration of security rules with zero warnings. How many other configurations were driven by AI? Can we just answer that? You know what the best part is? Is if you misconfigure it and it's public and a lot of people have it, it will get baked into the cake for like years. Oh, mwah, beautiful. This has resulted in hundreds of sites exposing a total of 125 million user records, including plain text passwords. What? Sensitive billing information. What? After an initial buzz of poning chatter AI uh, has settled down. Wait, what is poning chatter AI? Am I about to get Ligbud? How I pwned half of America's fast food chains. Simul okay. That might, that might, we, we just might have to take a quick divergence and read that one. That one sounds good. Does that one sounds good? Yes, it does sound good. Uh, has settled down. We, uh, we set to work on scanning the entire internet for exposed P -P uh, PII. That's, uh, what is that? That's personal identifiable information via misconfigured Firebase instances. N attempt one. Mr. Bra wrote up a rudimentary scanner in Python that would check for Firebase configuration variables in websites or their loaded JS bundles. It worked until it didn't. It turns out that Python program with 500 threads will start to chew up memory over time. Really? First off, I absolutely love this, but I, I love the first I love the first conclusion here. Turns out Python, well, it's Python. No idea how that happened. Uh, for for us, that meant it would oom. Oh my goodness, you got an oom? You oomed yourself? That's so good. That's so good. I love it. Mwah. Mwah. That's just my favorite. I love getting oomed. I've oomed many of things. All right. Uh, Loggy uh, rewrote the scanner and go. <laughs> Should have been Russ. Unl uh, unlike the prior, it didn't seem to leak memory. <laughs> <laughs> It really doesn't matter the language then. Our initial estimate was that this was going to take 11 days to scan through f uh, five and a half million domains, but it turned out to be closer to two to three weeks, which made this very much a waiting game. Okay. Manual checking every domain. Uh, we first went and started manually looking at each entry in the 550,000 line text file. Holy cow. Seeing if we could find anything interesting. This was time consuming and very repetitive. Yeah. In the end, we went through quite a lot of it. It had, let's say, it had 136 sites and 6.2 million records. But all we knew that we needed to do something fully automated because this was taking way too long. Yeah. I mean, once you figure out the process, I assume you can automate it. This is very interesting. Okay, once we had acquired a sh our short list of potentially affected sites, we ran it through a secondary scanner that Eva had made called Catalyst. This would take the site or JS bundle we found, then automatically check for read ac uh, access to common Firebase collections and any that were explicitly mentioned in JavaScript itself. This is just so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. When it found read access to, uh, to a collection, it would attempt to calculate the impact of the exposed data by gathering a sample of 100 records, checking the type of information contained, and extrapolating that uh, by the total size of the collection. And then we decided to, uh, the database, let's see, then uh, we then decided the database to use to store all the results, and we chose Superbase, which uses Postgres under the hood, a f open source Firebase competitor, just for irony. So this is just out there? So you, you literally just went on the internet and just looked for read access that was exposed in JavaScript? You know, in my head, whenever I think of, like, someone that's doing, like, some form of hacking, it's, like, this, like, intense, there's, like, Linux, it's, like, it's like you know, it, it's Hacker Man getting deep in there, it's, like, some really crazy stuff, they're, like, they're taking advantage of, of memory and systems and all that, this is just JavaScript being like, yo, JavaScript, you got read access? All right, all right, all right, all right. And then just a shazam. You're just in. What'd you do? I wrote something in Python. It leaked a bunch of memory, rewrote a program and go. Now it doesn't leak memory. Waited two weeks and then it started manually checking a list and bada bing, bada boom. Crushed. Yeah, like Jayatan stuff. I think of Jayatan often. Jayatan, just like slow conning people for, for years. Catalyst. Okay, so we did this. Uh, once we had all that completed, uh, the data was formatted and uploaded to a private database table. Users, user stock document data, invoices, testing instructions, employees, don't know what that is, history, spin, roulette, redeem, 
Oh no. All records, 125 million. Names, 84 million. Emails, 106 million. Phone numbers, 33 million. Passwords, 20 million. Billing info, bank details, invoices, etc. 27 million. There's probably a large, there's probably a much larger list. Short list of affected sites. By the way, so quick question. Did you inform uh, Scylid LMS? Did you inform Scylid of LMS? A learning management system for students and teachers. Most total ex uh, exposed user records. 27 a million affected users. Name, emails, and phone numbers. Damn. Yes, disclosure was done. Okay. Online gambling network. Okay, that's not too surprising. Gambling networks are typically set up just just gorilla just gorilla domains. Uh, uh, compromised of nine sites, which are all reskinned of each other. Shocking, shocking reskinned low effort gambling sites. Uh, common spins are rigged and have a zero chance of winning. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you a little hot take here. There's sports betting, right? I would put this under the category of like foolish. You know, I'm not really into betting in general. It's it's just kind of like dumb. Then there's casinos. They're regulated. They're required for you to lose a, at a certain percent. So you're not going to lose more than 96%, you know, over some course of time or whatever it is, depending on the game, right? Each game has its specific odds. You can look it up and you'll know that if you play, you know, if you played a thousand games, you would lose that amount of percent or you'd win that much. So like, I think for craps, you'd end up winning approximately, you know, like by winning, right? Craps is, craps is like Tetris. You only lose, but you would end up winning like 460 or whatever it is, right? You know, there's like, uh, there, there is, you are, this is a hundred percent guaranteed loss. This is less of a guaranteed loss. This one's more confusing, Right. The, you know, you got, you know, but then there's unregulated gambling and it's it's slot machines. It's often in crypto and it's on some sort of shady website. Yo, dog, what are you doing with your life? I mean, you got some strategy. You're going to lose, but at a certain rate. And this is just handing somebody money. What are you doing with your life? Don't do that. Customer support uh, tried to flirt with me uh, when I attempted to report the issue. Your Firebase allows uh, anyone to read information. I'll send you a link. Do you have a girlfriend? I want to be your girlfriend. You're very smart. Dang it, I could I actually couldn't get out some something stupid to say at this. I actually couldn't even like I couldn't force myself to to act normal reading this. I am actually pretty shocked that this would be the response of customer support. And what I mean by pretty shocked is that normally customer support I would expect. Uh oh, I don't I don't understand this. This is bad. I don't know what to do, right? Like I'd expect incompetence. That's a whole, that's just a whole new level. I've never even seen this kind of level. Anyways, contain the most amount of exposed bank account details, logins out of all of our records, 8 million. Also contains most plain text passwords out of all affected websites, 10 millions. Sh leave it to an unregulated gambling site to store passwords in plain text and have them readable by a JavaScript. Nice, nice. Lead carrot, uh, uh, online lead generation for cold calling. Uh, top three in total of amount for exposure user information sitting at 22 million affected people. My chef tool. Uh, luckily, I've done none of these. Business management app and point of service application for restaurants. First place for most uh, exposed names and second place for emails. Nice. The aftermath. 100, uh, 842 emails sent over 13 days. 85% emails delivered. Nine emails bounced. 24% of site owners fixed mixed configuration. 1% of site owners emailed us back. 0.2% of site owners offered bug bounty. I think sometimes I have such a positive view that I would assume that a really high percent of percentage of people be like, crap, we got misconfiguration. Let's fix that immediately, right? We're exposing data. But man, less than one fourth, less than one fourth, 0.01% of customer service got laid. <laughs> oh, no, the Internet's dumber than I thought. The Internet actually is the dumbest place in the universe. Fixing the issue wasn't on the sprint. This is crazy. To me, this is just absolutely nuts. This is incredible work, by the way. Um, do you have any of this stuff open source? Uh do you, do you have any of it that, that can be perusable? Because it's pretty cool that you did this. I'm curious how you got all these websites. Like, what was your what was your general kind of strategy for, like, did you have a strategy for which ones you would look for? Was there a certain class? How did you categorize them? Because this sounds like a bunch of mixed manual work versus non-mixed manual. It's pretty cool. It's super cool. Absolutely amazing. 
and fail posts fire wreck this is beautiful by the way uh, i would just like to let everybody know this is this is like a really great way to show expertise real talk you'd go and you actually figure out things and you do it the right way your goal your goal is to do stuff and then inform people and then actually try to get things fixed and then write about how you achieved this thing because this is absolutely great write up just amazing i am so pumped up about this anyways great job great job eva and everybody else uh you do have xy in your name eva a little bit worrisome okay i don't know what version you're at okay i don't know if this is the i don't know if this is a giant tan moment here <sighs> Anyways, I am glad I enjoyed the write-up. Yeah, dude, it was great. Hey, thank you, Mr. Bro. I'd love a little bit more detail on some of the things because, man, I'm just curious how, like, what did you look for? I have no idea. I don't even know. I've never configured, I've never misconfigured Firebase, let alone configured Firebase. The name. Maybe I need to know a little bit more about Firebase. Maybe I'm just being weak here.